Airbnb, the story of the two designers and one software developer who took over the rental service industry. Hey everyone and welcome to Booked, where we inspire others with inspiring stories. In today's video, we are going to go over the success story of Airbnb and talk about its founders, Brian, Joe, and Nathan. So, make sure you watch this video till the end, because we are going to share with you the books that the founders read along with their amazing journey. Books that changed their life and that may change yours. But before getting to the middle of today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. In 2017, a rental service company recorded a number of 3 million simultaneous guests around 20,000 cities. And what is even more interesting is the fact that this company does not own a single room. And it allowed the host to work for it to make over $41 billion in over 10 years. This company is called Airbnb, and this is the Airbnb story. Belong anywhere. These couple of words represent the slogan for what is probably the biggest rental marketplace in the world. Since ancient times, people traveled from one place to another in search for better living conditions. Some trips took days, while other took weeks, months, and sometimes even a year. At that time, people took tents with them where they could spend the night in, while others slept in clear areas which they considered to be safe. But as time went by, the humankind sought for new ways to improve their lifestyle, make tasks easier, and make their experiences more enjoyable. One of the tasks was long distance traveling, and in order to make it easier, they came up with the context of hotels in the 18th century. But hotels felt unfamiliar. After all, guests kept feeling that they were in a momentary and unfamiliar place that was meant to be standard for all kinds of people, and some of them cost an arm and a leg. Thus, a new solution was needed. And whenever there is need, there is innovation. And the need for a more comfortable and familiar places led to the birth of Air Bed and Breakfast, but you might know it as Airbnb. When it comes to companies founded by two or more individuals, a lot of people may think of the possibility that Founder X and Y are brothers, or maybe friends who used to hang out with each other since an early age. But for Airbnb founders, this may not be the case. Each of the three founders grew in a different area and their paths crossed later on. For instance, Brian Chesky was born in Niskayuna, New York on August 29, 1981. Brian had an interest for art and design, and then he switched to landscape architecture. Afterwards, he started attending Rhode Island School of Design. After five years, Brian managed to receive a bachelor degree in fine arts in industrial design. But what is interesting is the fact that it was at RISD that Brian met Joe Jebbia. Jebbia was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and studied at Brookwood High School in Georgia. He later on joined the RISD, where he got his bachelor degree in fine arts in graphic design and industrial design. While at RISD, Joe and Brian became roommates, and it was there where their friendship started to take a professional color. As for the third co-founder, Nathan Blakarzik, he was born in 1983 in Boston, Massachusetts, where he joined the Boston Latin Academy later on. And in contrary to Brian and Joe, Nathan had an inclination towards the tech industry. As he grew up, he made some money by having his own software business. He then decided to join Harvard University, where he pursued a degree in computer sciences while making programs. But it was in 2008 that Nathan had the chance to meet Joe Jebbia when he was looking for an apartment in San Francisco. Nathan found an ad on Craigslist, which would allow for Jebbia and Blakarzik to spend some time together. These latter valued each other's skills and saw how their abilities completed each other's. Nathan later on would join as the third co-founder of the Airbnb business by being the first chief technology officer. In that position, Nathan contributed to what might be the company's greatest asset. He coded the Airbnb business website, bringing Airbnb to life. It all started when the unemployed Brian Chesky and Joe Jebbia had to find extra money to pay their rent in San Francisco. So they had to come up with an idea 
that would help them get out of that financial crisis. At that same time, a particular design company planned to hold a conference in San Francisco. The trigger issue is that hotels were a bit expensive for the coming guests, and this allowed Jebbia to come up with an idea that he turned into the words and sent it via email to his friend Chesky. What if we turned a loft into a designer's bed and breakfast, Jebbia offered. Chesky liked the idea, so the team created a website called airbedandbreakfast.com, got three air mattresses, prepared the loft, and accepted their first three guests, who happened to be two men and one woman. Then one day, the three co-founders realized the fact that their idea was indeed remarkable, but most importantly, it had the potential to grow. The trio got confused a little bit at the beginning. Their first intention was to create a service for roommates. But after four months, they realized that there is already a service of the same kind, which is already a giant in its industry. So they decided to go back and work on Airbed and Breakfast. The company launched again, but its launch was completely unnoticeable to the point that the company had only two clients and Brian was one of them. The co-founders then decided to meet some investors who would probably be interested in funding their project. Their idea was presented to 15 investors. Eight refused, and the remaining seven completely ignored the idea. Brian, Joe, and Nathan did not give up. Instead, they kept launching their business over and over again, at which point they found an interesting equation. Big events equal more people. More people equal more bookings. More bookings means less space, and less space will push people to look for an alternative. Airbnb has to be that alternative. But still, they needed funding. So the trio decided to create their own version of Obama O's and Captain McCain cereals and sold them for $40 each. This allowed them to raise $30,000 for the company. The company got noticed by Y Combinator, but they were still being refused by investors over and over. But afterwards, the company received $600,000 from Sequoia Capital. This allowed it to get on the growth train, and indeed, they managed to grow their company. And by 2011, Airbnb was already in 89 countries and hit the record of 1 billion booked nights on their platform. Airbnb was finally seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. Additionally, by 2011, Brian announced the company's 24 hours hotline service for its customers in order to report their complaints and any sort of inconvenience that they may find during their stay in an Airbnb. Not only this, but even guaranteed that additional support would be given to them in case of theft and vandalism. The company was giving value to its customers. Airbnb was getting popular day after another. And in the same year, the company managed to receive an investment of $112 million from one of Valley's biggest VCs. The co-founders knew that they needed to go big. So in 2016, Airbnb decided to sponsor the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Summer Olympics in Brazil. Airbnb is now famous. Starting from the bottom, now we hear. Airbnb needed that push to grow. And since it got it, the company went on fire. For instance, in 2015, it was estimated that Airbnb had a $20 billion valuation. This made Brian get listed into Forbes' list of the richest men under 40 and Time's 100 Most Influential People of 2015. Moreover, in 2018, it has been estimated that Airbnb occupied around 18% of the U.S. lodging market. That's almost a fifth held by one retail company, and it allowed it to make over $1 billion in the third quarter of the same year, surpassing even Hilton. And by 2019, more than 1.1 million U.S. rental offers were presented through Airbnb only, and more than 41.1 million Americans used Airbnb. By 2020, the company managed to ensure its presence in more than 110,000 cities in 220 different countries through having more than 7 million active listings. And according to ipropertymanagement.com, more than 150 million people used Airbnb, and more than 2 million people stay in Airbnb per night. In order to reach a certain level of success, you need to take into consideration the fact that you have to prepare your mind to sustain the level of responsibility related to that success. This is why it is important to share with you a number of books that are recommended and shared by Airbnb's founders, 
as well as some picks that are related to the trio's success. Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson In this book, Walter Isaacson showcases for the readers the fruits of a work based on numerous interviews with Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple Company and the inventor of the iPhone. The book is a biography about the legend which is told in a way that inspires actions. Walt Disney, The Triumph of the American Imagination by Neil Gabler. This particular book is for everyone who needs that boost of motivation in order to continue working on their dreams. This biography tells the story of a man who revolutionized the entertainment industry through perseverance. High Output Management, Andrew S. Grove. Are you interested in learning the art of creating a good business and maintaining it? If so, then High Output Management might teach you all this and more through the techniques illustrated in this book. Blitz Scaling, The Lightning Fast Path to Building Massively Valuable Companies by Reid Hoffman and Chris Yeh. The amount of wisdom presented in this book is literally life-changing. In Blitz Scaling, you will learn what separates big business from failing startups with extra attention paid to the point speed. Mission, How the Best in Business Break Through by Michael Heyman and Nick Giles. This book will simply show you how purpose-driven companies are overtaking the market and flourishing way faster than the traditional businesses through defining and communicating their ethical goal. No one can deny the fact that nothing feels like home. But what Airbnb did was making the place that you are staying in feel as home as possible. The quality of service given by this rental service company and the amount of value given to its clients made Airbnb become a leading brand in the traveling and vacation rental niche. Its founder's story is so inspiring that it taught us that what might be stopping us from achieving true success is just some dollars, an idea that can be developed and the needed perseverance to execute that idea and take it to the next level. Airbnb founders literally got their name into history, and it's been our greatest pleasure to feature their story here on Booked.